2014 Nissan Altima customer has got a check engine light and a coolant leak. So I'm going to show you how to properly pressure test the coolant leak system and check for leaks in this video. All right, first step, we're going to verify the customer's concern. Um, so we do have a check engine light and we also have a traction light and brake light. So let's get in the shop and start checking some stuff. All right, so we're going to be using this awesome uh, coolant system pressure tester. Uh, one of the mechanics had one of these exact sets he bought for a tool truck for like a thousand dollars I was able to find this thing on Amazon for not even a quarter of the price, but I'll leave that link below But first let's uh, let's go ahead and get this Nissan scanned for codes and uh, Then we'll proceed to the pressure test All right, we got the scan tool all hooked up. I got my Autel here. Looks like we got 123,000 miles on this Nissan And as far as codes go for the check engine light, uh, we got a P one two one seven which is um all for the engine control module coolant temperature so that would uh correlate with the, um the customer believing they got a coolant leak so let's go ahead and uh, do the pressure test so we're gonna have to hook this directly to the radiator so go ahead and take the cap off make sure the vehicle is not hot so we're just going to match one of these up with our coolant cap and uh this is going to be our best fit here Get it on here and tighten down. All right, let's get our pump and get that connected on there. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and get this guy pumped up until it gets to about 15 PSI or that little red line. All right, so this one's leaking so bad it wouldn't even hold pressure, but uh, let me go ahead and show you what we found. We had to fill it up a little, and as you can see, it's dripping right here. So um, let me look a little closer. Right there, the bottom of the radiator where the plastic meets the aluminum, you can see it dripping. So uh, this one's gonna need a radiator. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Fiber Mechanic.